Then in April, he was ordered to sell it so he could pay his wife more than $4 million. In court papers, she said he had repeatedly vowed in ominous tones that he would die in that house and that she would never get it. Now there is no house. He wanted to stay married, said Ira, um, Ira Gar, Dr. Martha's lawyer, until last year. He wanted to maintain the status quo so he could continue to live in this house. He wanted nothing other than to remain in this house for the rest of his life. Dr. Bartha was Romanian and met his wife, Cordula Hahn, a native of the Netherlands in 1973. He was studying medicine at the University of Rome, and she had just earned a doctorate in German literature. In 1974, they moved to the United States and lived with Dr. Bartha, Dr. Bartha's parents in Queens. Ms. Hahn took a job in the cultural section with the Netherlands Consulate General in New York while he studied for and passed exams enabling him to practice medicine in the United States. The couple were married in early 1977 and soon had two daughters. His wife stayed home to raise the children while he worked in hospital emergency rooms where he developed a reputation for being a dour man with a gruff bedside manner. And you guys can see the picture of the turmoil and um, destruction he left when he blew up his home. He only talked about work. A workaholic doctor said Dr. Dr. Paul Mantia, who shared an office with Dr. Bartha. In 1980, Dr. Bartha first saw what would prove to be the love of his life, the four-story townhouse at um, 34 East 62nd Street between Park and Madison Avenue. According to the divorce papers, he and his parents, Ethel and John Bartha, bought the house for almost four, um, $400,000 after cobbling together almost $200,000 in cash. Dr. Bartha, his young family, and his parents moved into the house in 1986. Dr. Bartha's joy over the purchase was intense and immediate. For him, it symbolized validation, proof of success. He told me, I stood at the corner of 59th Street and 5th Avenue and looked north. This is it. This is where I want to live for the rest of my life. Dr. Bartha may have found his dream house, but his home life was far from idyllic. As he worked, he grew increasingly estranged from his wife and daughters. Silence pervaded the home. There were two years of non-communication. They were like two ships in the night. So they were married, but not talking. In October 2001, his, his wife, who has resumed the use of her family name, filed for divorce and moved with her daughters to a small apartment in Washington Heights. This is where I talk about why are women filing for divorce? Can we keep it real? So next part.